potato budgies. Gin and Sam. I'm going to be eating. I don't care. Bird King wants to sponsor me. Fantastic. I'm hungry. Thing when you travel a bit, you know what I mean? Warm, isn't it? There's a good Yorkshire word, it's warm. Yeah, travelling around Yorkshire, you know, getting to see a bit of the world. Beautiful sunshine, nice weather. Good day to go visit and explore a bit. Talking of which, exploring. Just turn the fan off. Yeah, exploring. Yeah. Uh, Bit of advice really. Don't know if I'm really the person that's really well qualified in all this. You know, you got your own Earth Boys and your IKS lads, AOW Research, Blown 8 Cylinder, which obviously I do a bit with him, with AD. Yeah, but this um, urban exploring or military site exploring. What's some advice really about um, what to do and what not to do? Top of the shop, if you can't get permission, very important. At least a landowner or a property owner will know that you're there. Um, some of the buildings can be dangerous, don't take any risks. And then uh, the other side of the coin, maybe sometimes you can't always get permission or maybe you see a load of folks that are um, already there. So you think somebody, it's fine, everyone can have a look. You follow them in. Be respectful to the property. Uh, don't remove anything. You know, don't steal anything, no matter how cool it is. No point in doing that. That's just theft. And against the law, criminal law. But there is um, trespass laws in Britain. Um, as long as you're not breaking into anywhere to have a look. If it's locked up, skewer, don't go in. Don't break your way in. Oh, that's cold. Um, yeah, don't break your way in. There are other ways to do that. Um, But trespass, trespass isn't um, criminal law here in the UK. It's a civil matter. Civil law, not criminal. If you're asked to leave, be polite. Explain what you're doing. You never know, they might let you continue to look around. Um, if they don't, and they want you to leave, that's fine. You just leave, be polite and thank them for their time. Or uh, later on, which has happened a couple of times. Um, later later on, somebody might um, might see the video and want it taken down. Just take it down, you know. It's fine. You know, I, I don't take any offence to that, really. Um, happened quite recently. We saw the people were looking at some buildings. Thought everything was okay, so we had a look. Put a video up, and uh, yeah, somebody somebody asked us to take it down. It's fine, whatever. 
by then some many people had already seen it so it really doesn't matter um, and then you know there's always other places to look at in there Burger King drive through and being noisy so yeah just use your common sense really bodgers that's all it is um, but yeah it's nice it's nice isn't it sun shines out nice way to spend time with people that you like and your friends and just go out and explore and see new things just do it the right way um, you know you want to hopefully leave places looking untouched like you've never been there um, and just be respectful of people you get a lot of folks that um, go on explores and they aren't very respectful it just makes it harder for the next people so yeah I, I highly recommend the people that will be in the uh, the channels that I'll link below in the comments um, you know you're respectful you film film yourself throughout the whole thing in and out and then if there is any repercussions you've got video evidence that you didn't break in you know oh so, you know nobody can get too shirty with you And yeah, just be respectful to property, respectful to people. You won't go far wrong. Urban exploring and military exploration. It's for documenting. Before these things disappear, innit? You know, the urban sprawl goes and takes it over, or sites get knocked down and it's lost to history isn't it fades into memory there's a couple of places that I had a look at earlier in the week um, one is um, is a, a former World War II um, building that was used to uh, What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for, Bodgers? You know, wash off chemicals and things. What's the word? Decontamination, that's it. The decontamination building. Um, can't get in it. It's all locked up secure, but I look around the outside and it's right in the middle of a, of a quite a busy city in the north. And there aren't many people that will know what it was during the war. It was used as a community centre and stuff. I tell you what, I'll put the video in here, alright? Now. Right folks, this is around the back. Not a lot to see. Um, Bill's never been in use for a while. It uh, used to be a community centre, I think. And various other uses post-war. But yeah, it's a um, little bit different layout to the one that we saw at Tavern the other day. Um, and this one would have been run by the Warden Service. For the people of uh, Hull, should there have been a, a chemical or gas a bomb on, uh, on Hull. Hull was, um, Hull was bombed quite a lot during the war. Second most bomb city, I think. Take a look around the front. Fortunately, we can't get in. See what uh, see what the inside looks like. Well, I dare say it's been uh, a little being messed about with.
there is the uh, the chimney for the boiler that would have been in there. So yeah, been a charity shop, community centre. It's only a quick one. I mean, we're only at 47 seconds. Not a lot to see, but um, you know, it seems quite a vibrant place in Hull. New estates going up behind me. Now we've got another building to look at. I'm not even sure what this one is. I think it might have been a bath or something like that. Sorry about the camera work, I forgot the selfie stick. above it that might tell us what it was. Sorry Bodgers. Right. Uh, looks like it's been some sort of food hall or something at some point. But what we're thinking swimming baths. See on top there's like some uh, some urns on the top, all tiled at the front with marble. I'm guessing the, uh, I'm guessing those chimneys are uh, exhausts or whatever they are or later. By the looks of it, a bit, a bit much around the um, around the bricks. Flat roof. This building next door is empty as well, but it's quite modern. Let's take a look around the other side of that one. Around the back, the urns on the top, same. A little less fancy at the back. Not as much tiling been going on. It looks like they've been having a Bit of a clear out. Looks like there's going to be some work going on at some point. Bit of a dumping ground by the looks of it. something that one both more or less next door to each other in Hull so probably existed at the same time I think and it looks like it was uh, turn of the century and then obviously the um, yeah the wartime stuff so there we go bodges only a quick one you like that bodges? And then just next door was another building. I think it was a former swimming bath or something. Quite a fancy building. Again, secure, can't get in, blocked up. But just opposite the building, some new houses and it won't be long before somebody starts signing up that land and it ends up knocked down. So I just documented what I could. Hopefully, some people from that northern city, Hull, will see them and uh, think, oh, I never knew that. Just educate themselves a bit. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, you know, I was going to try and save them and put them onto something else, but better in this one isn't it kind of explains and demonstrates you know I'm not breaking into places I'm not doing any harm I'm not destroying anything just to get in to show people you know that you've got history on your doorstep literally with the, with those two buildings there you see the houses don't you 
people living there might not even know. But, yeah, there we go, bodgers. Just a little video. And uh, me rambling on for a little while about urban exploration. Just be respectful, be respectful of the places, respectful of the buildings you see. And uh, respectful to the landowners and anybody else who might say, well, look, I'm not really happy about you having that on. Just take it off your channel. No ham, no foul. Sorry, noisiness. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy exploring, Bodgers. I do. Follow the links below to my friends who do a similar thing. Like and subscribe to them and tell them that Bodger sent you, as always. Put it in the comments. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you later, Bodgers. <laughs>